2011 Toyota Sienna van. Oil change. I'm gonna pop your hood, make sure it opens up. And then I get you jack the vehicle up, support it properly. Get a 14 millimeter socket and remove the drain plug. Drain plug's on the back side of the oil pan right here. You wanna take this out, you can drain it into the drain pan. Let it drain to it. You get sick of it draining like that. And then you can put your drain plug back in, but make sure you got a good drain plug gasket. Make sure the other one don't stick to the bottom of the pan. Like that one did. So now I gotta have to get my gasket out of there. And see if it's any good. Okay, it feels good, it's not split. It wasn't leaking before. So I'm gonna put it back on there and put it back up. Drain plug gasket on. Put the drain plug back in. Put the drain plug back in, tighten it up with your fingers. Get your 14 millimeter ratchet and a wrench. Tighten it up counterclockwise. To loosen is counterclockwise. You don't want to bear down on it, but you want it kind of snug, so just give it a couple little pumps. Be good, because oil pan made out of tin and it starts to flex a little bit. Okay? So then that's good. Then you want to wipe it off. Wipe it off. In case it leaks, you won't be fooled because you didn't wipe it off. Okay. Then you need your Toyota oil filter wrench, which is a socket like that, which you definitely need. There's also actually a drain for the filter, but I don't ever drink it, drain it. I don't know. You might be able to want to. Just three eighths, you can take this out, and then there's an O ring in there, and it's just like a drain plug for the oil filter. I don't ever do it. But I always use my socket. And that's a 15 16 and I use a breaker bar and I'll break it loose. But I already broke it loose with my breaker bar. So I'll twist it. Ugh. Ugh, pretty tight. So break the bar. Okay. Put it on there. Let it drain a little bit. You don't want to drop it. Because there's a spring and side there. It's kind of like preloaded under a notch. Okay, just let it drain a little bit. Okay, we're going to let it drain a little bit. Okay, I got it off. This is what the filter looks like. This is what the new one looks like. I took the O ring off. O ring goes into this groove. You look inside there. Underneath this, there's a spring. And it snaps underneath them clips right there. On the sides, you just push them down and turn it. You drop this, and it lands on this, and I'll unspring it. Just so you know, there's a spring under there. And it goes on those clips, okay? What I want to do is I'm going to put my new oil ring on, my housing, okay, I'm going to put my new filter on, put a little bit of oil on my oil ring, and then put it up in there. Okay, that's what it looks like, okay. Filter, new oil ring. There's the hole for it, it looks pretty good. Put it up in there, turn it. Keep turning it till you can't. And put your socket on there and then your ratchet and tighten it up, okay? Okay, I tightened it up with my socket, my tool. Wiped it all off. Sometimes this, the tool will stick to the housing. You just put it in reverse, you know, to back it off. It's a little bit and just all you need, it just undoes it and just wiggle it off, okay? Check your tie rod ends, make sure you don't have no play, check your ball joints, you know, and check your wheel bearings in and out. 
in and out this way for tie rods, wheel bearing this way, in and out. Inspect your boots on your half shafts. Make sure they're not torn or leaking any grease, okay? Check out your, your trans mount. You got your body mounts. And another thing you want to check is, what was it? I got a motor mount right here, make sure that one looks good. Okay. Make sure you don't have no trans seal leaking. Okay, I don't see nothing leaking out of my axle housings. All looks good. If you wanted to check your gear lube or change it, there's a drain plug here. And there's a fill plug up on the side, which is right there. That's for the front diff. I changed mine. And if you want to change the rear diff, Got a fill plug here on the side, and then it's got a drain plug. And then a Z bottom, but I think I had to remove the shield to get to it. And this one I did, because I broke off the bolt because I changed my fluid on mine. It does, oh, wait a minute. Where's the drain, sorry. There's the fill plug. Okay, drain, fill plug. All right. When you load down, check your tire pressure and make sure to put oil on it after you get it fully on the ground. All right, back down to the ground. Take your oil cap off with a pair of pliers. Put your oil in there. Mine takes six and a half quarts, zero W20. I got a 3.5, so I put six and a half quarts in it. Put my cap back on and I tighten it up with my pliers because if I don't tighten it up with my pliers, It'll leak a little bit and it'll give me a little bit of smell. Start it up, pull your dipstick up. Well, start it up and then shut it off and then come back and then pull your dipstick up, wipe it off, reinsert it, pull it out and check it and see where the markings are on it, okay? You wanna turn it around so you know where it's at. You can see this. Right on the money. I need to wipe mine off because it looks kind of looks kind of like you can't tell. So I need to wipe mine off. So hold on a second. Can do everything in one hand. All right, wiped it off. Stick it back in. Pull it out. And look at it. See it on that side? It's right at the top dot. Right at the top dot, okay? So the oil's good, take it back in. Now it's time to top off your washer solvent. Check out your upper bushing on your mount. Up there, make sure it's not split. If it's split, then it's bad. And now it's time to check your battery terminals. I use, uh, on my battery terminals, I use Max chain of cable lube on my cables. Man, that stuff's awesome. It removes the corrosion, makes them nice, keeps them protected. Works good. Now's a good time to pull out your air filter. Pull out your air filter. Just undo these clips. Pull them out a little bit. Bam! There it is. And mine's a little, a little dirty. So I'll go pick one up and then I'll put it in there. It's just that easy. Just that simple, clip them back down. Okay. All right, then you wanna watch, check your uh, antifreeze, grab a hold of your upper hose, pinch it. See if it, this is still warm. I'm not pushing any fluid back and forth. It's still under compression, under pressure. Move your overflow, check the overflow, I'll look inside there, I got, I got fluid in there. So that means I'm good. If I can squeeze this, like there's nothing there, then most likely I got a leak. Okay? So, that's my pre-inspection underneath the hood. And do your wipers, don't forget about those. So now we're done. Wipe off everything, make sure you get oil caps on there. I tightened up the pliers, that's good. So we're good, and we're all set. 
Don't forget your oil change sticker.